Hey guys, welcome. I'm Emily, the Fine Art Medium, and sorry about this week's video. Um, the one I really want to do is going to be next week at some point, but I thought I would come on here today and talk to you about a weird and alarming dream that I had uh, this morning. And it was one of those ones, it was, it was actually more an astral experience because I woke up at least three times during it. And then when I went back to sleep, uh, it continued. So yeah, there's something going on. And so I'm just going to share with you what I saw. Now, I don't have a time frame and I don't know where it was. Um, so just keep that in mind. But so, um, in the past, I had dreams about um, a city being attacked and bombed and stuff. And, like, soldiers and shit. Like, you know. And then we had, um, what do you call them? Like, the refugees going place to place. And I did make a video about that before. And I even had a comic to go with it that I drew out. And now I'm thinking that was Ukraine or about Ukraine. And so now I'm going to share what I saw. So it starts off with, you know, I don't know if it was like alarms going off, but I remember having to collect all my stuff, like my go bag, because I have a go bag and like my swords and stuff. And, you know, anything I could fit in another bag, like clothes and stuff. And then I remember having to flee with my family and the main aspect about it and it was at nighttime main aspect about it was that it started with um trying to get gas for a vehicle so we can you know go buy a vehicle first but the thing was all of the gas stations and gasoline like anything you can use to fuel your vehicles uh, was destroyed so they made it impossible to get gas because they didn't want you to you know drive away and I remember um, a friend or somebody who who was there had like a bike like a motorcycle of some sort and hitching a ride with him and using whatever he had left in his gas tank and so I also remember like a faint a faint image of Kamala Harris laughing in the background. Now, I'm not saying she is responsible for, you know, what was going on. I don't know anything about that. All I can tell you is what I saw. And um, maybe we can put the pieces together, you know, together. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I saw in part one of this experience. Now, the second part, so there was a, so we're, so we're trying to flee, but while this is going on, it's like there was a flood coming. It was very strange and we needed to get to high ground. I should say a flood was coming, but that's what they made it seem like. It wasn't necessarily that a giant flood was coming, but that's what they made it feel like to get everyone into one place. And I remember getting into like this weird parking garage with a bunch of people and parking up all the way at the top. And while we're doing this, we're looking around for food off, you, off one another because, you know, we all left in a split. We didn't have time to thoroughly like pack everything. So we were low on food and what they gave us and they, I mean by like the government or whatever entity was in charge and trying to control everything. They gave us this pill. Okay. I know this is all fucking weird. Okay. Um, but this is where it gets really fucking weird. This pill was supposed to carve, not carve curve sorry our hunger so we wouldn't be hungry but what it was actually trying to do was to get people uh hooked on eating 
other people, which is very fucked up and gross. They wanted us to eat flesh and be cannibals. It was fucking gross. Don't ask me what the fuck is going on because I honestly don't know. And so I refused because I, my spirit guides were like, don't take this. Don't, don't eat that. Don't do anything with that. And so I listened and I refused and I was trying to tell everybody what the fuck was going on and those in control did not like that. And so they tried to capture me and as I was running and fleeing, how was I fleeing? I think I was fleeing on foot. I was running and I remember them trying to catch me and they were going by like vehicle. So I was running and I meet someone that I was familiar with and he, you know, picks me up and we drive away in a car and they're still following us, trying to kill us. And yeah, it was fucking weird. But so I guess the moral of the story is, um, maybe don't believe everything that a government tells you which I mean everyone who watches my channel already knows this and I'm not gonna say that everything I'm saying is coming true because some of this shit was weird but um there's some weird dark ass shit going on and the flood that they were trying to let us escape from um wasn't a flood really I mean there were some spots that were like a little bit high in water but like nothing more than waist high like they made it like it was a flood flood like Noah's Ark ass kind of flood and that it would kill everybody but it only went so far and it wasn't even that big of a flood so there was no reason to have everybody like where we were and to get us in a spot and I just it, it gave me um, Nazi vibes, to be honest. And it gave me, like, dictator communism vibes. But so, I know the war is going on with Ukraine. And this video isn't trying to take advantage of what's going on. But I thought I would just share this weird-ass dream. Um, I don't know. But, uh... And so, I also want to add in with the Ukraine thing and the Russia thing for people to understand there are people that'll take sides there are people that hate biden and there's people that hate putin all right none of them are great people if we're being honest and you also have to remember the people of these countries don't want a fucking war they do not so when you know i know there's racism with other you know, groups of people and people are hating on the Russians and stuff. But remember, they're not the ones who decided to attack Ukraine. That was Putin. And um, President Biden, with whatever, I, how do I say this without, I'm sure my video is going to get blocked regardless because I'm already shadow banned. But everyone has their, uh, played a part part to play I'm saying shit backwards sorry everyone has their part to play in this war and I'm just saying that government entities there are no government entities that are innocent let's just say and I'm sure you know what I'm trying to allude to and I don't want to be labeled a you know what but that is what I'm going to say but remember the people that are you know the Russians and the Ukraine, the Ukrainian people don't want this war. And it's very important to not spread hate to either side, okay? I understand um, that people are killing each other. But remember, uh, when you have a communist government, you can't just be like, no, they'll fucking kill you. So it's always good to understand both sides and how they work before you lay your judgments and hate on other people. But yeah, I thought I would just uh, share that fucked up dream, really. And um, honestly, the one part about it, about uh, giving people the pill that crave human flesh, 
which is fucked up, is actually going to play um, into the video I'm going to make for next week. But yeah, please stay tuned if you are interested in watching that. And thank you guys for watching this video today. Um, have a super special awesome day and peace out.